Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to Oilers After Dark. My name is Matt. We got some big news. Major signing today is Evan Bouchard has re-signed with the Edmonton Oilers. Two years, 3.9 AAV, so in total 7.8 for Evan Bouchard for two years. I don't mind it. I think that is a very team-friendly deal. Um, I think the Oilers could have done worse. I think Bouchard could have asked for a hell of a lot more. But hey, I'm just happy the Oilers got it done. Uh. So here's a little graphic here. Locked and loaded for sure. Bouchard is back in Edmonton. He'll solidify the back end in the second pairing with Ekholm. And as we know, when Ekholm came back, came into the fold at the trade deadline, Bouchard's numbers did skyrocket. So did his defensive play. So a full season of Ekholm and Bouchard, we can be excited about that. We can be happy that, hey, maybe Bouchard will continue to trajectory of being a better defensive defenseman as well as putting offensive numbers up. You can only hope. Now, I know there's a lot of people that are skeptical. Well, that's a lot of money to give to a kid. But, it, guys, it's a two-year deal. How many more years were you wanting? Were you wanting him on a four-year deal, which would only pay him $2 million a year, $3 million a year, same, ter same money over time? I don't know. I like the two-year deal. I like the 3.9. It gives the Oilers a little bit more flexibility come trade deadline. But that does mean that the Oilers are going to have a 21-man roster. Now, what does that 21-man roster look like? Obviously, 12-7 could go like 11-7, it, 12-6. I'm thinking the Oilers are going to go more of an 11-7, have 11, 11 forwards and 7 defense, just because you could always use that extra time with McDavid, Dry Seidel, Hopkins, if he's rolling and strolling. Um, the, the forward combinations could be endless at that point in time. But we've seen that this is going to be a younger defense. And, hey, I'm all for it. I am all for this deal. Yeah, and here's a little bit of the rundown on him and his numbers from last season. A little preview of video coming up. Projected numbers for Bouchard. Um, yeah, like I said, for me personally, it's a good deal. It's a hometown sweetheart deal. He could have definitely got four, 4.1, 4.2, but he settled on 3.9. He settled under four, so that's a win for the Oilers. Anything under four for Bouchard was a win. And it's just, here's another graphic for you. I love these graphics. Um, also, more in... The news category coming up for us as a channel. Ooh, excuse me. So for us as a channel, we have a sponsor. That official video will be coming out tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Pretty exciting times. Um. Yeah, it's it's been a uneventful summer till now, but as summer roll winds down and school starts, news picks up and picks up quick. I'm debate like I'm, I'm just things in my I'm debating sharing other news in this video or making a short. It won't be a whole video in itself. It'll probably just be a short. Congrat. You know what, here, I, I know this is Bouchard's video, but congratulations to Ryan Nugent Hawkins and his wife, Bree, on their baby girl. It's baby season. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you for watching. What are you guys' thoughts on the Bouchard deal? Do you think the Bouchard got too much, not enough, just hit that sweet spot? Was it a team-friendly deal? Or was it a player-friendly deal? In my humble opinion, very team-friendly. Two years, under four. 
Can't complain. Now, for all you people that are out there, why was it only two years? We know why. Holland doesn't deal in anything more than two years. Unless you're a superstar, superstar, bona fide. Um, two years, I'm good with it. I'm good that this two-year deals are happening. It gives the team flexibility moving forward. You're not trapped in a long-term five-year deal where the player after year two, moving on to year three, just has the slumpiest of slumpy years and you can't move off the contract. Not saying that's going to happen in your Bouchard. I'm just saying two-year deals seem to be the norm. Until the cap rises more than a million. Who knows, in two years' time, we could be seeing a lockout or we could be seeing the cap go as high as $95 million. Either or. Big things happen in the NHL. So stay tuned for your news on the Oilers here at Oilers After Dark. As always, be good to people. You guys have yourselves a great day. We will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching the video. This video is sponsored by Oilers After Dark. All of us at Oilers After Dark. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You commenting helps the algorithm. You subscribing helps the algorithms. And you liking the video also helps the algorithms.